if we think about AI causing problems for humanity, I think more than it like, uh, you know, takes over a factory and produce a bunch of killer robots or right. drones or whatever that kill us all. I think more realistic and some of the bigger concerns people need to worry about is like, what about manipulation? It's powerful. It's, it's, it's impressive, but it's also a little bit scary. Is it scary because we're unfamiliar with it or is there a real fear there? So I think there is... You, you see a lot of people that are very smart in this p place, such as uh, the godfather of AI, Jeff Hinton, and then Elon, just to name a few, mm -hmm. that are very, very worried about what can happen with this. And I always tend to think they're around it more than we are. They know more about it than we are. So if they're concerned, there's probably a reason to be concerned. What are they concerned about? Concerned about when... AI can connect to everything. That's the, that's the biggest challenge with with right now, I think, with ag agentic AI. Mm -hmm. They could make AI probably do complex things, but it has to be able to connect to everything. So if you have a complex series of tasks, we, we talked about the grocery one, right? You, you, you're saying, hey, I'm, I'm having a party or something and I need to buy groceries or I want to do this theme. If, if it's going to be able to go and then put that grocery list together, put recipes together, and then go actually order them to you. It has to be able to connect to your, your Instacart. It needs to be able to connect to your credit card. So it has access to things. And that's that's what it's going to need. It's going to need access to a lot of different things to start performing complex tasks. So and we're going to we're going to give it that access we're for our convenience. Gi we're going to give it that access for our convenience. So what people are concerned about is like, what about when to perform that complex task, the AI thinks it would be better off without Dave here. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, okay, well, there's the Lemonade Day, right? That is where people start to get concerned. Now, is that possible? Is there a realm out there? Probably. Are we smart enough that we might be able to mitigate this? Probably. I, th I, th I don't think we have to worry about it so much in the hands of good people, but there's a lot of bad actors out there, and there's people that are going to take the parameters and the safety things off of it. So that's a risk. How big of a risk is it? We don't really know. I think there's other bigger risks that we can almost pre predict indefinitely with AI that are, are a bigger factor that may not necessarily be the destruction of humanity as a whole. Well, there was just a report recently I seen, and I don't know if it was if it was real or not, but they were saying that they tried to turn it off and it wouldn't turn itself off. It turned. You seen this? Yeah. Kept turning itself back on. Yeah, I, I actually saw something recently that they <laughs> fed us some information about the user saying like like. Not not for real, but the user was cheating on their wife or something. Yeah. And then the AI was like, if you shut me down, I'm going to tell your wife that you're cheating <laughs> on her. I was like, it's kind of manipulative, right? Yeah. But that's, if if we think about AI causing problems for humanity, I think more than it like, uh, you know, takes over a factory and produce a bunch of killer robots or right. drones or whatever that kill us all. I think more realistic and some of the bigger concerns people need to worry about is like, what about manipulation? Right. What about like changing information, making us think certain ways? That is the way that I think AI could do a lot because you think there's people out there that are experts in persuasion. There's people that are experts in personality profiling, you know, the things like the CIA has done and all that type of thing. Yeah. Imagine having all of that as data points that it can, it can facial recognize what's going on. It can tell what's going on. Like if you're like nervous, all of that. And as per it, it, who knows what it will be able to do to manipulate people to do things. Well, even your Instagram algorithm is collecting on you. And uh, so from a marketing standpoint, I believe AI is being used. It's it's collecting on you marketer. your interest and then it's turning around reverse marketing uh, and it's influencing yeah. the way you, your perspectives, your worldview. Yeah. Uh, so the, the, you have the ability. To, and, and that's a that's marketing companies doing that. Imagine yeah. someone like the CIA or... yeah. Pakistan intelligence or, you know, you know, the KGB, like using that as a weapon uh, to influence people's worldviews. Yeah. This is, this is a, this is something that's scary. And me. people were thinking that we would probably see like more deep fakes and stuff in the last election. I think yeah. we were expecting it. We didn't, but that's going to be, it's going to be a thing. There, yeah. there was, there's this really good video model that just came out by Google. And I don't know if, if you saw it, but it was showing these videos and it was like news reporters and different types of things. And they were saying, I'm not an AI, but it looks, or I'm an AI, but it looks so real. Oh, yeah. So real. And that's, yeah, and it's just going to get better. Yeah. It's just gonna be, so you talked about 
uh, there's three different there's three different dominant views on AI right now. Yeah. So uh, so view number one is and, and I wouldn't say this is dominant. This one's been shrinking, but it's the the people that are like this is hype. This is a fad. I think people are starting to realize this is not. Mm -hmm. You're always going to have some of those though. There's still people that think Bitcoin's a fad, and it's been around since what, like over yeah. twelve years. Like I don't think Bitcoin's going anywhere. It's not a fad. But you're always going to have people like that. So, so there's the fad hype people. Then you got the people that are like AI is going to augment people. We're seeing that right now. That's that's what's happening right augmenting. now. But it's getting smarter. It's getting better. And like we just said about we live in a capitalist society, so. My view, and this is the third camp where people sit, is that AI is going to take out the majority of jobs that we currently have and life as we know it's going to change drastically. That's where I sit. Mm -hmm. that, that, that third tier. That third tier. I, yeah. I, I, I can't see any way that that's not going to happen. How could someone, because I believe, I believe that to be the case too, that that third tier is, is going to happen. AI is going to outsource jobs and replace jobs and make companies more efficient. It's going to cut. Like we talked about a, a company like this, the, the resilience show have, uh, uh, you put, you, you, you put in some prompts and it so basically said we could cut our cost by 80%. Yeah. Uh, or cut our overhead by 80%. So companies start making those decisions. How could people, uh, protect themselves or prepare themselves for a world? So they're not for a world that, that has these changes implemented without being blindsided. This is the real question. And I don't know that I have all the answers for this, but I think there's a couple. One, if you're not using AI now, start using it. You want to be one of, you don't, if, if we're going to have this like interim period of time where it is augmenting people's skills, you want to be one of the people that is utilizing it for that. You also want to like, I, I would say, look at the trends. What are the trends? What are the industries that will do well in this? And I think there's definitely three. So like AI companies, mm -hmm. they're going to continue to boom. Nuclear power is what is going to power AGI and super AGI. So <laughs> nuclear is going to be a big thing. Um, and then the other big th piece that's coming up kind of at the same time is quantum computing, which is going to exponentially increase the amount of compute that we can use with AI. And when, once that is used as a feeding mechanism for AI, I think it's just going to explode. I see. I, I, the numbers should be totally off, but the, there was recently a math problem that said that math problem would take like billions of years or something to figure yeah. out. And they were able to do it in like minutes yes. because of mixing AI and in a, in quantum computing. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, there was even talk that is going to like another dimension to get the answer or something like that. I don't know. It's, yeah. pr it's pretty wild. The whole quantum world is 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 unbelievable. But yeah, that that's another really, really big. It's almost it's almost coming up because you got AI coming up on one end, but quantum computing, there's going to be an intersection of them. And that's going to be a, a a very unique point in history when that happens.